Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ron Kilowile. I always ask you to subscribe, don't I? <laughs> well, if you don't subscribe, at least share or leave a comment or hit that like button. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that you're watching and any feedback or any comments that you might have that you want to share, any questions. I love questions, so leave a question, send me a question, tweet me, tweet, tweet, anything. Um, I'd really love to hear from you. So today we're going to talk about something that I think a lot of people struggle with. Um, I, I struggled with it a couple of times actually. Um, and it's how to deal with friends not being your customers or more specifically, let's just get real. Your friends aren't your customers, okay? Um, quite often when we start a business or we're launching a product, we expect our friends and family to be our first port of call. We want them to spend all their money on all our products and all our services. And that's great, you know, a few of them will, but I think it's unfair to expect them all to do so, okay? Friendship and business really mix well. They're a little bit like oil and water. Listen, there's some great testimonies and stories out there of friendships, um, relationships, you know, married couples, families who, who have thriving, amazing businesses out there. But that's not always the case. Okay? And we have to be realistic. Friendship and business, on the most part, I would say, should remain separate. I think it's important to understand that your friends love you, your family love, loves you, they adore you, hopefully. I mean, I wouldn't know why you call anybody your friend if they don't actually like you. Um, but they might not always understand your journey. Okay, So that's the first point. They don't always understand, specifically um when you're in your startup phase you know for example if you've given up your job to start your business they might not get it okay and i think it's unfair to expect them to always understand what they will do is be supportive and hopefully encouraging okay as the difference between being a customer and being supporting okay in other ways encouraging they might just you know they they might just be there for you and that's really what you need and deserve sometimes more than expecting them to buy from you okay or actually most of the time more you want your friends to be there when things get tough and you can just talk and just actually take your mind off things but can you imagine if you have a friend who's buying into your service or product and now they're your customer and they're offering you the kind of same um have same kind of uh feedback as customers do and you know, it's hard, it can be hard, it can be, it can, it can really have an impact on your relationship. So be careful um, and be patient and be understanding that ultimately your friends might not always understand your journey and that's why they're not always your ideal customer. Um, honestly, they might really like you, they might really respect you, but your product or service just is not for them. Get over it, deal with it. Okay, it's like expecting every single person who walks along, along, the, along the street, along the road to buy from you. Just because they're your friends and they love you and you chill out, and you hang out and you do all this great stuff together does not mean that they automatically have to buy into your business. It just might not be for them. There's some things that I see out there that actually I'm not feeling. But what I will do as a friend, okay, is I'll share. Okay, I might share something like on my social media, but that's me. I don't necessarily expect my friends to do the same. Everybody is different. And the same thing, you have to be mindful and understand that we should not hold our friends to too much account in that sense, okay? It's, your business is your responsibility, okay? Not theirs. And you have to accept the fact that in real terms, your product or service might just, might, it just might not be for them. It might, they might not be your target market. And too often we get so distracted assuming that because we're friends, they have to love us and like us, that they have to be our target market, no. And actually it's a distraction. What it does is it causes um, an emotional imbalance because you get so caught up in wondering why hasn't that friend supported me? Why isn't that friend buying from me? That you're missing all the other customers who you should be pitching to and marketing to. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So stay focused. And actually, really, and I've said it in the beginning, your friends aren't your customers because they don't, they, they don't have to be. In my eyes, they shouldn't. They probably shouldn't be. If something goes wrong, the worst 
thing I've seen in 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 in, in life and in adult life um, is when something goes wrong with money or in professional environments that can break and tarnish relationships that have been growing for years. Imagine if you you um, have a service provider and your friend says, "Oh, I want to use your service," um, and they ask for a discount. And you, okay, fair enough. You might offer them a discount, but imagine if they start paying you late or they take advantage okay that is going to not only have an impact on your um, confidence but on your relationship because now you're gonna have to remove the friendship model and, 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 and move into the business headspace and, and it just becomes so uncomfortable it becomes so it just full of conflict and why why should why should you risk damaging a friendship of years because of because you want that one additional customer when really you should be focusing on the customers that are outside of your friendship circle. Okay? Now listen, I am not saying that you 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 should reject your friends or tell your friends, no, you can't buy from me or spend money with me. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is do not expect your friends to be your first port of call or to be your customers. And actually respect that they have their own journey, you have your journey. And you, just, you can just go along happily and peacefully side by side. <laughs> side by side. Listen, I'm going to use a few examples. All the biggest corporations in the world, you really think that they're all there relying on their friends and families to grow. Now, if in terms of inside the head office, maybe they're employing each other. That's different employment and in, in, in hiring each other because they recognize each other's skills. But in the big corporations... They are not relying on their family and friends to grow their businesses, okay? They're relying on the consumers in the wider world, the big, huge world that it is. So don't rely on your, your friends to be your customers. Um, respect them when they decide not to. And don't turn it into a conflict. Don't turn it into something that it isn't. They can still be your friend and love you without spending their money with you. Even though it'd be nice if they did, to be honest. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And I'd love to hear your experiences. Any more questions, leave a comment in that comment box. Thanks, guys. Tune in soon. Take care.